Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to quickly introduce myself. I am Baran Topçoğlu, and I'm a graduate student at Midwest Technical University, METÜ, and working as a specialist in Parabol. Another author is Tuba Mimşoğlu Baykal, who is a postdoctoral researcher at METÜ, and Hediye Hideş Yaman is a professor in civil engineering department at METÜ. Today, I'm going to introduce you our study, which is speed-related traffic accident analysis using GIS-based DB scan and NNH clustering. I would like to start with the region and data. Middle southern part of Turkey, including Mersin, Adana, and other five cities, was selected as a scene. The traffic accident data between the years uh, 2014 and 2021 were geographically filtered. The types rollover, runoff road, crashing into a stationary vehicle, and collision with an uh, object are classified as speed related accidents. Speed-related accident data were divided into two-year periods, and the last period, which is 2020 and 2021, were considered as the years with mobility restrictions due to pandemic conditions. After organizing the data, hot spots were identified using the NNH and DB scan methods, as mentioned. For NNH clustering, CrimeSat 3 program was used, and QGS was used in DB scan analysis, visualization, and evaluation processes. This is the logic behind NNH tends to create convex or ellipsoidal clusters, whereas DB scans clusters are more random in shape. The obtained results are evaluated in terms of years, the differences in the cluster ring of traffic accidents between the two selected methods are revealed by the analysis results. These evaluations were also examined using road geometry, and different cluster areas were examined more locally. When it is considered that the General Directorate of Highways in Turkey uses an NH method within five accidents, with five accidents and 100 meters parameters in one year, and taking the regions overlapping in the last three years into consideration, in addition to their rate quality control methods, 100 meters and 10 point parameters were used in NNH and DV scan for two year periods in this study. Due to time restriction, I would like to briefly share two cluster examples stated by both DB scan and NNH methods. Here in the figures, convex shapes represent NNH clusters and they are labeled with letters, and DB scan clusters are labeled with numbers and represented with colored points. Cluster 3B belongs to the 2016 and 17 period, and cluster 1A detected in 2020 and 21 period in Gardente. It's seen that the accidents occurred in the last two years are farther to the road than the ones in the other period. This may imply that the countermeasures were inadequate to prevent speed-related accidents and the type of the accidents are more likely to be runoff road in last years. In the last example from Adana and Mersin, clusters were detected in the last two year periods, especially in Adana on the left hand side, accidents were clustered in the, uh, as you can see, same part of the rotary intersection. And also in Mersin, in the other figure, the area of the cluster decreases as the time passes, although both clusters include the same number of points. This study, in conclusion, can constitute a base for studies of the same type and also can help the determination of accident hotspots on local and regional scale and finally can guide in determining repeated clustered regions. And thanks for your attention, and if you have any questions, I appreciate the answer.